Hello, my fellow adventurers! This is Moluncha, and welcome back to New World. It is that time of year, and we've got another world event happening. Turkulan, the big giant turkey, is back in New World, and he is better than before. Yes, you heard me correctly, he is better than before. Now, how do you want to proceed with this event? There are a couple things that you kind of need to know, and I'll pro well, try to go over them as best as possible. Now, you might be wondering, why am I in this spot here on the map here in Sinanovic Sinakov uh, Farm? Well, you're basically going to need to start with hunting some regular turkeys. Uh, for me, it's the lakeshore turkeys. And I know three spots here or three turkey spawns here. And why do you going to need to farm up these? So you can see one in the background already there. And there is one over here. Or there should at least be. Yeah, one here. One in the middle of the road and uh, one further up a little bit. So three easy spawns to get to. Now, why do you want to hunt these turkeys? Well, they basically have daily rewards and one item that is crucial to this event. And that is actually the Turkulon Claw, an epic tool. Turkulon Tools provides a chance at acquiring special items from turkeys to help defeat Turkulon. Skinning turkeys has never been so ironic. This item will disappear at the end of the event. So basically, it has a 10% drop chance. So you just kill regular turkeys till you can get your hands up. For me, it was on the first kill. So that was really, really easy. Uh, but you basically kill till you actually get this knife. Now, with this knife, you can get special rewards from regular turkeys. And those are the turkey treasures. Now, they will contain, like, daily coins that you can get. Uh, you can get, like three three caches per day from those the regular turkeys also will drop the gypsum orbs so the diamond gypsums now normally you can only get three diamond gypsums per day during this event you can get six meaning that you can make uh it's it requires three to make one gypsum ca uh gypsum orb from them and from one gypsum orb you can make one cache so basically you can make two caches per day uh by farming turkeys and then you can also get five infused turkey coatings and five infused turkey ward potions. Now the coating uh, applied to the current drawn weapon, of course, is given maximal bonus damage against Turkulon and beasts. Last for 40 minutes or upon unequipped, whenever comes first. Only one coating may be applied to a weapon at a time. Coating stacks with weapon traits. This item will disappear at the end of the event. So you can get like five coatings per day for infused turkey coatings and then five wards increases damage absorption from Turk uh, from Turkulon by 66% and beasts by 15% for 30 seconds or after re receiving damage 15 times. Now, as we saw last year, Turkulon has like a laser beam and he drops like eggs that explode. So yeah, it might actually be pretty interesting to equip these. And then daily, you can also get poultry tie. I think you can get one per day. And these are actually the rewards you can get per day from just hunting turkeys. So pretty important that you know right now in this event that will last till the 6th of December. So for three weeks, you can get your diamond gypsums from killing turkeys. And that is basically why you kind of well, want to go to a good spot where you have some turkeys, right? And I kind of remembered this spot having a couple turkeys. I wasn't sure that it was three, but this was basically my starting letter farm. Because back in the day, this cow, which is a one shot, he drops between 30 and 35, I think. Yeah, 30 and 35 rawhide. And I checked it now. He respawns every minute he used to respawn every 15 seconds so basically every 15 seconds you just hit him skin him hit him skin him hit him skin him but sadly it doesn't work anymore now after you uh basically i did how many was it i did like 61 kills to actually get all the rewards so it is gonna take a while before you can get your daily five coatings before you can get your ward potions before you can get your diamond chipsons and then the one poultry tight. So you're going to have to farm that. A better news is that the rewards, there are actual rewards now by hunting the giant boss, the Turkulon boss, which we are going to take a look at in a second. And I believe there is like a chair, an egg chair you can sit on. Uh, there's going to be three that can drop, well, one per week that can drop. 
And basically that's because you have three houses, meaning you can put one chair in each of the houses. There is gonna be a pit, a turkey that you can place in your house. I think it's only one that you can drop. Uh, there is a skin for boots that can drop as well. And then of course the giant turkey leg, which is a 100% drop rate and that you can use to actually make like a uh, food buff. Now talking about food buffs, there is something else that drops from Turkeland this year. And it's actually a trophy you can place in your house. It has a 3% drop rate. And there's only one drop during the entire event. But it will increase the food you consume. So the stats the food gives to you, it will increase it if you place it in one of your houses. Now the funny thing about this year's Turkelon, and I think this is actually a really good change that the developers made, is that every reward that is in uh, the Turkelon, the actual boss encounter, loot pool, is guaranteed. If you kill Turkelon 15 times, you should have every reward that he has. For instance, let's say that the boots, the, that the skin for the boots, you haven't received it on your 14th kill. That it's still like the only thing you haven't got. That 15 gil will guarantee you those boots. Enough talking about uh, what is actually in this event. We are gonna look for Turkelon itself. Oh, no, right here in Brightwood. So there he is. So Turkey, Turkelon's terror, Turkelon has returned to avenge their fallen brethren. It is a level 66 boss, guys. So you do want to be careful if you are still not like just level 60 and have proper gear or if you're lower gear. Uh, so let's see if we can get him. You do notice that the icon, it doesn't matter how much I scroll in, the icon always remains the same. So... If I go zoom out like this, the icon disappears. So you do need to be zoomed in to actually be able to see where he is. So let's see if I can make it on time. I think it's faster if I recall to house and then just run. Now you do need to do a certain amount of damage before there actually can be drops. So for instance, if I make it to this Turkulon and he's like at 5% HP... And I only can get like two attacks in. It's possible that he will not drop any loot for me. There he is. And yeah, it seems a lot of people are already... Okay, so he's, he's not dead yet. Okay, that's good. That's good. We should be able to get a sufficient amount of damage in before it actually spawns. Let's go to the camp first. Let's set our spawn just in case. There we go. He's actually a pretty fun boss. Actually, play like laser beams. He drops eggs that explode. He's got like a giant stomp that he does. He starts pecking at the floor. As a healer, I don't really need to have like the coatings up. Well, I might actually put the coating up while I'm at it, right? So, let's use coating. See, now we're doing 5,000, 6,000 damage instead of the 1,500 that I was doing. So taking the coated is definitely like interesting because he's going down way faster that way and if you make sure that yeah well you see you're dropping eggs the eggs explode after a while if you haven't seen the event from last year it's pecking again yeah it is this I love these these event bosses. They look so amazing. The Halloween event one was really fun as well. The, event, the Halloween event one was a really tough one. Like it was a really tough one. You had to be there. He goes with his laser. You had to be with a with a bunch of people. You had need to have like coordination a little bit. Like Turkelon is more of a spank a tank and spank boss. And that gold coin is not from the boss. I've uh, basically been. Emptying my inventory and selling a bunch on the auction house. He goes again, strutting his stuff again, laying some eggs on the floor. Car exploring. I do wonder how much damage it actually do. Let's see if I stand on one and it explodes. So 500 with a burn. So yeah, you do want to have a uh, sufficient amount of HP. 500 isn't that much. Now laser beam. 
kind of want to get targeted by that, see how much damage he does. Now he basically, like, stomp on the floor, like, set down. He's kind of... He's kind of floating on top of the players right now. But I really love love these uh, event bosses. They have 15 kills, guys. Like, that is a huge change. Like, only 15 kills and you can get every reward that is there. And you basically got three weeks to get those rewards. And this one is almost down. See if we can get one of these rewards. The massive turkey leg is a guaranteed that you can get. And did he drop anything? Doesn't seem like he dropped anything this time. Yeah, there we go. So I counted. Ooh, Feasto Plenty trophy. Really nice. So yeah, it's not a drop that you need to pick off on the floor. It basically drops in your inventory. A trophy obtained from the Mighty Turklon, Feathered Avenger of Death. It inspires you when you eat a meal. Only works when placed in your home. Grants plus 25% food buff. Time when you eat beneficial foods. There we go, fifth kill, on to the next one. And we got Juicy Kelv's box. So the feet. Open this box to claim the skin, apply it from the select skin menu. So let's open these up, there we go. Come on baby, drop my freaking pet. Yes! Turkulus the disgruntled foul, and now we have everything that he can drop. All right, so we've got some items to look at. Let's quickly see. So we've got pets, animals. We got the Turkulus disgruntled foul, the true mastermind behind Turkulon, fettered avenger of death. But with his creation defeated, it now begrudgingly lives with you and accepts your pathetic morsels. All right, let's see where it is. We kind of been running around a little bit to see where I could place it. And let's turn him around. I think this is actually a pretty good spot for him. Nice here in the corner. There we go. How it looks. How does it look? Put the B menu off. It's actually pretty nice. I thought it would be making more noises, but it's possible that my noises has a little head on you can hear it chirping it's actually pretty cool it's actually pretty cool might actually have to find another spot for him uh we've got an egg seat so that's a chair i presume circle on egg seat yeah look at that how does this look? It's a couple leaves with then feathers next to it. Let's think we need to place it like this. Where the two uh, feathers are, are where your feet are, I think. Or there are indicators of where your feet would be. Let's place it like this. We sit on it. It's given us an option. Maybe it's too close to the table. Uh, move. Place it over here. Enter. <laughs> Hell yes! Look at that! We can actually sit on our table now. Oh, this is so freaking cool. This really is freaking cool. Oh, hell yes. I don't like it that the enter function... It's like right in the middle of your screen, like right in the middle of your face. It should have been like lower to like exactly the the height of where the egg is. That way it wouldn't be like right in the middle of my face. But this is actually pretty cool. We can actually sit on the egg, guys. Look at that. That is, <laughs> that is hilarious. All right. And then if we just move, we basically walk off. 
All right, that's pretty cool. And then one thing I was really curious about, and that's the last thing we are going to test out, guys, is actually the food buff. Now, I did read the description wrong. So earlier, I was thinking that it was going to be 25% uh, food buff, but it's food buff time when you eat beneficial foods. And coming to think about uh, thinking about it a little bit, like, like I said uh, earlier, we only get one of these per event. So if you can get one this year, if you play next year and it's still there, you can get a second one. And the year after, you can get a third one, meaning you have three houses. You can put up three of these uh, these trophies, meaning you would get a 75% a food buff. And that is a little bit overpowered, I think. Like 40 gone would give you like 30 gone extra. That would be 70 gone just from your food buff that you can get. That would be a little bit overpowered. So, food buff duration. Uh, let's quickly go out. Now we need to go in and actually place it. So, trophies. And here we go. And I was thinking where I needed to place this. And I think I'm going to place it over here. It's not centered. <laughs> okay, let's move it. I think this is centered. And it looks amazing. Like, it really does look amazing. Let's uh, go out a little bit. It has a little little basket on top of it. And then the turkey is like, um, it's burnt into the wood. There's some roses and, and leaves around it. Like it really looks, it looks really good. Now for the buff, uh, we have, what do we got here? Like uh, 40 minute foods. So if we consume this one, 40 minutes actually becomes 50 minutes. So if you consume this with a 75% boost... This will actually become uh, an hour and 10 minute food. That means that you basically need to only consume half of the food's duration. Well, it's not 100%. So, well, yeah, basically you need to eat less food. And this is actually not too bad because some of the foods are actually rather expensive. Um, the stuffed calamari is not that expensive. But for instance, the 40, uh, 40 Constitution one or the 40 Focus one, the 40 uh, buffs are actually pretty expensive. If you can, act again, they're, they're also for 40 minutes. So if you can actually extend their buff duration to 50 minutes, it becomes a little bit cheaper to actually use them, right? Because in the long run, you're going to have to use less to actually have it on 24-7. So in that perspective, it's actually not too bad. And that is... That is the three items that we can get from Turkelon. The other item we can get daily from Turkelon is the actual food that we can make. And we also got skin, apparently, for our shoes. That is the next thing I kind of want to look at. So, change skin. We now have Turkelon Juicy Calves. Big enough to replace your shoes and succulent enough to make you wish you cooked them. Holy crap. <laughs> holy crap we're actually getting like turkey legs wait i need to see this <laughs> look at us running around this is this is ridiculous and they have leather straps on it like actual boots turkey legs <laughs> it kind of if you if you run with it it kind of looks like you have flippers on like swimming flippers this, this is ridiculous. This looks so derpy. Holy crap. I'd rather have a turkey mask or something. The feet is like really, really... Oh my god, they're so ugly. But at the same time, they're so funny. And then, yeah, the next thing that we can get if we go to... Uh, let's quickly check. Not sure where I actually placed them. Probably under food. And food for me is... Evan scale? Yeah, Evan scale. And then we can get our hands on the massive turkey leg. Now I'm not really sure, because last year I actually I don't think I actually made it. Let's quickly check what this buff actually gives you. Rich red meats. Turkey. Let's see if we can find turkey in there. All of fast turkey. 
Roast turkey dead. Roasted monstrous turkey. So here we go. Legendary. Increases constitution by 1 and luck by 0.15% for 40 minutes. Your health slowly recovers while under these effects. The potency of this item adjusts based on your level. I do have the required resources. So I presume constitution by 1. It's going to be uh, increased constitution by 33 and luck by 5% for 40 minutes. Your health slowly recovers while under these effects. Potency of this item adjusts based on your level. For my level, it is constitution 33 and luck 5%. It's actually not too bad. Like 5% extra luck while you go farming or uh, in the chest run or something like that. And it takes potatoes, cooking oil, parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. So a lot of the herbs, actually. It does take a lot of the herbs. And the potatoes are pretty expensive. Cooking oil is not that expensive. And that's actually pretty interesting. And yeah, daily gypsums, guys. Daily uh, caches for gold. Daily bags uh, after the regular turkeys. And this is where I'm going to wrap up this episode. Let's sit your ass down like we always do now with our ugly ass turkey feet. Like, holy crap. <laughs> They're really ugly. Anyway, guys, this is everything that Turkelon has to offer this year. It is a big improvement over last year. The spawn rate is up. He actually has rewards now, a skin, a trophy behind it, uh, the food behind it, uh, the... the, the Chipsons are behind the regular turkey kills like the event if we compare it to to last year it's a huge huge improvement but like i said i'm gonna wrap it up here if you want to see more of my let's play here in new world or any other game i might play on my channel just hit that subscribe button it would always help out a lot i do hope you enjoyed this episode if you do just give the video a thumbs up again would help of course and i'll see you in the next one Bye-bye.